So this is the ORCA design that I used for many years, and today I will teach it to you. Not that it's rocket science or anything, I'm sure you can figure it out. For this very basic version, you only need three balloons, a black one, a white one, and uh, it doesn't really matter how much air you put in as long as you um, have the th enough to, to do what you need to do. Um, you you're going to end up breaking off uh, both of these. And then uh, for the fins, I like to use a smaller balloon, so I like to use a 160 when I'm working with 260s for the main body. I have made these uh, orcas like this using 646s. And I used a 350 for the um, uh, the dorsal and, and uh, other and pectoral fins, so it's uh, you can scale this up. That's for sure. It's a real basic basic design though. So I start off by tying these two together, because unlike a shark that can have a, a pointy face, the the orca generally just has a uh, like torpedo shaped body and face. So I tie these together. Then you decide how long of a body you want. Okay, so uh, if we're making the this one here to give out to somebody, it's not too big, about that long, and you're going to end up breaking this here off. Although sometimes it doesn't look half bad to bring it back here. In fact, I might even try that today. I didn't often do that, but you know, I think it'd be a bit of a stronger design. But anyway, back here, when you're at this point, take the tail and you want to make some flippers. So you could just go like that. You could just fold them and just give yourself uh, two flippers that way. Um, I kind of liked doing this with them. Where you make uh, two, I don't know what, the, what you call those, three, four inch bubbles. Fold them together and then make another set over here to be the whale's tail. You know, as long as you have enough black balloon to come back along here, right? So I lo it looks like I should have enough to come all the way back, so I'm going to make the other fin about the same size. And make another one of these to fold it right back in there. And I have enough air to come back to here. And it's about right, I think. If you have way too much, you just break it off and let the air out. If you're pretty close, just don't worry about it. You can tuck, tuck everything inside. So normally I'd put the uh, the fins in here and the pectorals would come down, but you know what? Let's see what it looks like with this coming around. It'll make this all a lot stronger too. Okay, so this X white here, we're gonna get rid of the excess. Tie it off. And wrap this around a few times so nothing comes undone. Okay. Now remember, they're whales, not fish, so their uh, fins in the back, you know, their flippers go this way, not, not like a fish. Okay, now, like this, it doesn't look like much, but when you put the fins on, it's what really makes a design. So I usually would start out like this and give it to the kid, um, and then move on to this one. So for this one right here, uh, you don't need a full uh, balloon. You, know, you don't need a full 260 or, or 360. Just make sure it's soft, because you'll be twisting it a few times. So give it a squeeze, make sure it's soft, and tie the ends together. After tying it together, you split it in half. So hopefully you can see that there, what I'm what I'm doing. But um, you're basically just, I don't know if you can see in this field of vision because this camera doesn't have a viewfinder, but you're splitting it in half like that. And what you're gonna do is twist it together and you're gonna do the exact same thing that you just did with one of these. You split that in half, okay? These are gonna be your pectoral fins. This is gonna be the dorsal fin. And of course, you could stick it right in like this, but I found if you will take a few minutes to, um, or a few seconds I should say, to put a split in each of them, slightly offset, you can end up with a much better effect. So the longer portion of these 
fins. These here will be facing the front because they're slightly longer. And then same with the dorsal fin. You just twist it and you end up with a bit of a curve in the front and the slightly longer ones here in the front. It just looks a lot better. And then you put that in the whale. They go down through the top right here. One fin there, one fin to this side. Naturally, it goes in a lot better when you only have one white underside, but when you have one white underside, it does look a little thin and just doesn't hold as good. So I think that looks a lot better when those are coming through there. Of course, this excess, you should um, just get rid of it if you have a snipper. There, sometimes little bits of balloon just don't want to disappear. So you can put that anywhere you want and, and that's it. Um, when I had to make an orca, that is what I would make.